Hey, what's up guys? I want to share with you a, a good plugin that I've been using for a few years now. Um, you know, when I'm doing vector artwork like this, I typically use the pencil tool and I do my drawings and, you know, works really good. The, the one from Adobe works great. I don't like how, when you want to adjust how, how accurate it is, it's, you know, it's very big jumps. So a plugin that I got years ago was called Dynamic Sketch it's by Astute Graphics. Uh, if you go over to Astute Graphics here, it's called Dynamic Sketch. It's a 30 doodal plugin. They constantly upgrade it and make improvements to it. Um, like I said, I've been using it for years. The benefit to it is when you do the pencil and you're trying to like start and stop, it's, you know, this is a line that they're not connected. Uh, or you get crisscrosses that you got to come in and normally you would have to go in like this and do some editing, you know, try to get rid of this point, you know, and then clean it up and you'll know, make sure they, you get a clean cut, you know, you make sure it's touching. What this one does, let me zoom out here. What Dynamic Sketch does, it has gestural commands. So when I'm using this and I draw, and I draw the next one, see how they crisscross, but I want to stop there. This little gesture, and it's done. That right there saves you so much time. Plus, if you guys are doing line work for like print, see how this went thick to thin? it's pressure sensitive to my pen. So if you're on a tablet PC or a Wacom Cintiq or tablet, Dynamic Sketch is one of the best plugins you can get uh, if you use Adobe Illustrator. Because it takes full advantage of the pressure sensitivity of pens like this on the Wacom tablets, um, or any tablet for that matter. But it makes doing cleanup just a cinch because I used to try to like go like this and then make sure the, they crisscross right and you have that little mark. Now what I'll do is I'll do this, I'll do this, and then I'll just do the gesture and erase, and it's crisp and clean. If I don't want the pressure sensitivity on, I just turn it off. I'm gonna get rid of it. Do none, and then it's just normal lines, and that's it. So dynamic sketch, guys. If you're an Adobe Illustrator, Astute Graphics, they have a whole ton of plugins for you know doing. You know, basically making Illustrator work uh, ten times better. Uh, but Dynamic Sketch is still one of the ones I use daily, mainly, mainly for this, because I can really go in and just give that gestural, erase things out, do another line, and super clean for graphics. Uh, it has a bunch of other features I can get into, but I'm not getting into that now. I just want to share the little tip. Uh, again, these are tips I'm going to be going really into detail at my Plotter Artistry class at the. Uh, the Airbrush Art Circus, which is coming up this September. So if you haven't looked into it yet, look, check out the website, uh, check out all the classes that are available, uh, aside from mine. And uh, we're going to really get in the depth on how to really do cleanup, how to really make vectoring stuff easier for plot and paint, and uh, we'll make it easy for you. Have a good week, guys.